Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. We're going to update you on Fred, which is now uh, an open wave uh, as it continues to move slowly westward. And we're also going to be updating you on Tropical Storm Grace, which has gotten better organized this morning as it moves westward <clears throat> toward the Leeward Islands. Uh, but first, let's just do a little quick business. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the phone number for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Also, Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. Whether you want your home decorated for the holidays or you want to do this as a business, now is the time to get in touch with them. Uh, they're at uh, 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106. You'll make your house the best-looking, best-decorated house on the block. The website is liholidaylighting.com. All right, let's start off with Fred, uh, since that's the closest to the U.S. mainland. And you can see it's elongated north-south with clouds from Fred. Actually, some of the tropical moisture pushing up into southern Georgia now. Uh, the convection is not <clears throat> organized at all. Uh, we don't have a tight closed circulation center anymore. Actually, there are several centers that are uh, running around here, uh, including one that's probably just along or just to, just to the west of the south coast of Cuba there. And uh, that is uh, probably going to try to become the main center as it continues on its move to the west northwest. One of the things that's occurred with Fred is the fact that since it uh, has been relatively weak, the circulation center has really responded to the lower level easterly winds and, and has pushed the center a bit further to the west. And ultimately, that is going to mean a landfall a bit further to the west once it turns northward up into the Gulf of Mexico. A couple of features to point out. Uh, we've been talking about an upper low that has been sitting in northern Florida for the last couple of days. Well, that has pulled up northwestward and weakened. That has created a lot of wind shear. We've been dealing with and talking about the wind shear with Fred for the last three days. Well, that's beginning to weaken. So I think once the center gets out of the open waters of the Gulf of Mexico, conditions are going to be more favorable for strengthening. They're not going to be favorable for rapid strengthening, but certainly could be favorable for gradual strengthening. And I think that this is going to wind up uh, becoming a tropical storm again. And in fact, all the intensity guidance, the latest intensity guidance, has Fred becoming a tropical storm. We've got a couple of models that take it up to uh, about 60 knots, but the vast majority of them keep them at 50, uh, 50 knots or less. I don't think this is going to have time uh, nor the uh, type of upper air setup that you would need in order to get this uh, to be get to get any stronger than say a mid-range tropical storm. And here are the forecast tracks. Uh, still a little bit of a spread here from the western part of the Florida Panhandle. Uh, the westernmost track uh, is uh, right into extreme southeastern Mississippi. Most of them are clustered right over Mobile or near the Alabama-Florida border. And we're looking at landfall probably sometime later on Monday uh, or perhaps Monday evening. <clears throat> It'll uh, wind up uh, coming ashore. And uh, with respect to Tropical Storm Grace, uh, Grace is uh, on its way. Uh, to the Leeward Islands, and you can see the Hurricane Center's forecast here at 16.2 north, 57.9 west. Top winds are now uh, 45 miles an hour, moving west at 23. You'll notice that the forecast track here for Grace is almost the same as it was uh, for uh, Fred, uh, except that maybe this time around it, there's a chance that this could wind up going a little bit further to the north. We've got tropical storm warnings up for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and the Northern Leeward Islands. Tropical storm watches are now up also for the Dominican Republic. And checking out the uh, satellite. Now, this is a, a floater imagery. So what happens is that the, the center of the storm, the storm is at the center of the picture and the geography is what's moving. And if you just kind of focus your attention on uh, the organization here of Grace. It actually has gotten uh, better organized from overnight. Uh, started to see some of that cirrus outflow uh, to the northeast. There's not much, if any, shear going on. If you look around, you don't see 
uh, the higher level clouds kind of being blown away to the north from southwest to northeast. So environmental conditions are favorable for this to strengthen. But to the north and west is another upper trough that's north of Puerto Rico. And you see those clouds are uh, moving rather quickly from west to east. And eventually that may be a factor in grace later on uh, in the forecast period. So uh, looking at the uh, intensity models with grace, we actually do have a few of them that bring this up to minimal hurricane uh, within the next 36 to 48 hours. Uh, that might hinge on maybe a more northerly course because and, and that upper low to the northwest of it pulling out uh, where it doesn't have any kind of land interaction uh, to worry about uh, with respect to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. The vast majority of the models keep this, though, as a tropical storm right through the forecast period, going out all the way to 168 hours. So uh, the uh, these models are probably producing a storm that is taking a track over the greater Antilles, which would uh, create issues. Now, the other, the other factor, at least locally, that I want to just, uh, just to touch on is the fact that there is a marginal risk of severe weather from coastal New England down to about New York City, New Jersey, and points southward uh, into northern North Carolina. We do have <clears throat> a cold front that is going to be coming on through, and that should produce maybe a shower or thunderstorm uh, during the afternoon. I kind of thought <clears throat> over the last few days that this front would have been through a little faster and the lower humidity would start to come in from the northwest during this afternoon, but we're just going to have to wait for this front to pass late today. I, I think the best chances for thunderstorms will probably be more to the south, say from southern New Jersey down into North Carolina and also uh, in eastern New England. The area in between uh, there might be a few scattered pop-ups, but I'm not looking for any kind of organized line to develop. And then we're going to see improving weather conditions on Sunday as high pressure builds in. Uh, humidities will be going down. The frontal boundary will be close by, so you see some showers and storms popping up down in Virginia uh, late uh, Sunday afternoon and evening. But for the vast majority of the area from eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, uh, we're not going to see uh, any shower or thunderstorm activity tomorrow. should be a nice, delightful Sunday with that nice high sitting up in Vermont and New Hampshire. And uh, Fred is being picked up on the GFS there. You see those two little closed isobars there in the Gulf of Mexico. And then it moves into the Florida panhandle, kind of slows down a bit when it approaches the coast and then gradually works its way inland. And then later in the forecast period on the lower right, you see Grace on the GFS taking a track through the Bahamas and then eventually heading into Southern Florida. That would be at the end of this coming week. And of course, we're going to take a much closer look at this uh, over the weekend and uh, certainly on the Joe and Joe show for tomorrow, which usually on Sunday is at 11 a.m., but it will be tomorrow evening instead, probably at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. Weather in 5 brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst. 631-957-5106, and the website is liholidaylighting.com. And Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 is the phone number there for the best prices in town, omnitruevalue.com. So there's our cold front on the U.S. satellite view. We'll watch that go through, and then that uh, clear sky that you see across western New York, northwestern PA, and on back through the Great Lakes, that's that lovely dry air that's going to lower the humidity, getting a little temperature break today. Uh, but the temperature break combined with the humidity break will come in for Sunday. So have a great weekend, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night on the Joe and Joe Weather Show.